right, and we're back with Brigitte. She's on a rampage, so, uh, ah. Um, I, I am going to tell you, and you guys are home, I mean, with a puppy like this, I can, I can tell you, and I'm, no, I haven't even worked on the down. She's already defaulting to it. Uh, I'll tell you what I do do if one does that, is I, I, eh, I wasn't fast enough. <laughs> uh, I definitely reward them. But what, what, you know, what you're probably looking at with one like this, realistically, because let's go ahead and add Riggy! Good, 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 good. I, And I'm going to tell you what that was. That was the Nick. Riggy! set on, I, I tried pushing her with the pager, it's going to tell me a lot though, Riggy, good, 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 I'm going to tell you what I got right there, was the same reaction, and I'm going to, I'm going to help myself, all right, look at this little dog go, look at him go, and I'm going to tell you what, she's made this bulldog, OMG, and no, Oh no, there's this guy on YouTube, Stani Dennis is his name. He is one of my favorite dog trainers on there because he does explain stuff, but he's going to have to shave his beard and stuff. That's <laughs> it. You know how that freaks Kelly out. Anyway, but I told him on there today that we're sending a bunch of these dogs away to his school. All of them. All of them. All of my own, anyway. Uh, look, so I already know I added the Nick, so I'm going to turn it up a little bit. She's doing the same thing, so I'm gonna. That bulldog's probably gonna make for the water here in a minute. And if I need to say something to him, if I need to say something to that bulldog, like I don't want him. Briggy! Good girl, good girl, good girl. I, I do want to seem to be on the fly a lot. I'm here, I'm there, I'm everywhere. All right, and I know, I don't even know what this strange shirt is. I think some kids that have a sleepover left it here or something. <laughs> God, it's I cute. promise I'm never it's wearing a slumber no, party it shirt. It's punk rock, and it's obviously for it's fake cute. punk rockers. Girls that, like, chicks that aren't cool enough to, like, have a Dave Ross shirt. <laughs> don't bite my toes, I Molly. I talked to my parents yesterday. My you dad did? was apparently on my channel. I go, you were? I have a I, feeling I they probably watch. Uh, no, they don't. Uh, Sometimes. No, they don't know anything. I mean, like one time they came around and they go, what are those collars? Are you? Yeah, <laughs> but you can't know until you know. Well, you can't you just know. I had never collars. seen them before. My whole is made on these collars. Oh, summer. Stop. Well, have you? I've never seen them before. My whole career. <laughs> All right, come on. So he's on there watching your videos? That's yeah. But he, you Which know, one did he oh, see? The pond is low. That's what he right. said. The pond is low. <laughs> it's a typical dad thing. That's what they notice. The water's low. All right, look how big she's getting already. Yeah. All right, so I'm just kind of saying a couple things to myself. I mean, I've, I'm making myself aware that I did add the nick. I, I will tell you, I can tell the dog felt the nick just by virtue of its behavior. I do have the um, round contact points on there, though, so I will tell you it's much harder to get contact. Uh... So, I'm just looking to harness the momentum. So, I was going this little straight away. Anyway, we're getting a new trainee, and it's, um, you know, and what I'm saying to myself right now is I've had a few relatively close, uh, Arika, watch out, because she's going to slam Molly right into you. It's going to be the Petey thing all over again. I'm actually saying to myself, if I can interject my nick. Briggy! Yay! And, and what that is, and again, I'm not requiring sit at all. I could care less. What I care about is <laughs> happening over there. Hey, come on, let's go on a tour. Look at Molly, she does the same thing. Briggy! Good. Good, good, good. Briggy! 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 Good. It's my ventriloquism. And, and they will do that, you guys, if you've got somebody videoing. 
uh, you need to be ready. And, and what, you know, what I need to do is be moving more. All right, let's go this way. Look how beautiful it is today. Yes. I'm sorry, it looks like a postcard. We should have like the Panzer II postcard that you can buy. It's a good idea. The pit, take the photos, that's nice. Good idea. Briggy! Good, she rode good. Yay, yay, yay. I, I don't want to seem like I'm trying to keep it away just for whatever reason, I'm sort of backpedaling. Anyway, so let me catch Summer up on what he did. Oh, we're having a new segment too now. What's going on on Monday? That's our new segment that we do when we get back. Ah. Uh, what happened over the weekend? Anyway, I took down. I told Summer I took down all our battery changing fail videos. We just have to be more generic because uh, Greg posted this video where uh, some chick was using stimulus to uh, do a recall in a deaf dog. Briggy! Briggy! All right, so you need to kind of position yourself out of the way. All right. Yeah, just blend into the scenario or something. Anyway, and I just said you're walking a thin line recommending people use stimulus on deaf dogs because there's an established protocol in the deaf dog community, and it's called using pagers. So anyway, so he's like, oh, it just tickles him. So now he's telling me what he calls you. It's like, oh my God. like, I don't know. Like, I don't know. I fancy myself an expert. Um, so, that kind of, you know, aggravated me. And I had just made this deaf dog video. I'm sure these people think, oh my gosh, you ran and made a video. Oh, but then after that, I did run and make a video. Oh, I gotta tell you the video I made. It was called, If I Were a Deaf Dog, I Hope I Wouldn't Have the Misfortune of a Trainer That uh, Thought Stimulus Was a Good Way to Communicate With Me. The Kelly character is just laced, <laughs> laced with bitterness and sarcasm. All right, come on. Uh, uh, because, and then it was, oh, did you see the page already? You don't hear me? I know, Jesus. We've got to get, you know, spread our little, Make. you know, exclamation thing around everywhere. And then, um... I got to do the I don't videos. know what else it said, but it was just laced, laced with acid and sarcasm. I'm just over it. It's ridiculous. It doesn't make any sense. It doesn't make any sense to use something so low they can barely feel it. It does not make any sense. I don't know what's the point of using it. I mean. Briggy! Now I can say to myself, I've kind of created a problem. Because instead of coming to me, she's coming to Summer. So, uh, you know, two things need to happen. This would be the way, and, and you guys need to be ready for this. My God, look how they've broken everything down in here. Come on, we need to walk in here. The way, what I need to say to myself, though, is, okay, I'm not going to let that happen again. I'll fix it. Oh, look, they made us a trail. They go all the way through. There's a trail. We ought to make a little, like, just a walking trail through here. It gets to the other side, I mean, to the lake. Yeah, I know. Oh, no, 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 no. Because the dogs have, that. they have I theirs. I see if we asked George to do it, though. We'd come out just here and a half the damn thing would be cut down. Yeah, just a small one, that, you know, walking trail. Yeah, I think maybe if we direct him. Because the dogs, yeah, so they have them back in there. Good. The dogs are pretty. Beep, beep. That's a new, we're having a new thing next, nature trail. Anyway, so this is how I'm going to resolve the problem. I'm not going to call the dog unless I'm right next to Summer. So Summer needs to do the my video thing where you're kind of walking along right, right. next to me. All right. Because I can't walk as fast. Something. Is well, it my sweater that's is he attracted to my sweater? No, it's just going to the first person, and I'm I'm in it. Okay, so I need to be back. All right. Between the two of us. Yeah. All right, something is. Something's sleeping there, yeah. I mean, it's I, mean, I don't know if it's deer. sleep. Why would it sleep deer. right there? Mm. What would sleep right there? But it is, you can tell. It's probably a deer. You don't tell me. got to set up night vision cameras. All right, right. So I've got got another go world out here. Get over there and get on that. Or here. Oh, he's going to run to me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stay next to you. Get a good angle on it because that's sun right there. Right, of course we're missing... She's a mouthy one. 
That little tooth pop. She was biting Molly's tail. She thought it was her head. <laughs> you look. Old dog knows to escape, though. But you know, again, I'm I'm biding my time. I'm I'm saying to myself, yes, I've I've got a lot of things going on. I'm not going to shut this dog down in one day. Yeah, I can make the dog stop going after these dogs in any way, shape, or form by shutting it down. I'll just kind of start walking that way a little bit, and then I'm going to catch up to you. Ah! Did you get that? What happened? A bug? Oh, uh, no, no. But I probably was, yeah. You'll see it on the camera. You know, and, and I've kind of broken the dilemma up here. It really isn't going to be an issue in this context. So I can do one little spin. OMG. <laughs> does a real good job ignoring that puppy. See how aggressive he was grabbing that treat, though. Yeah, he's ignoring her, but he's taking it out on me. Angie Marie went and talked to some behaviorist about Maverick. I'm not, oh, please. Oh, they were mad. Oh, this is what they came up with. Oh, he was mad because he got neutered and you weren't there. Oh, okay, well, Jesus, I hope, I mean, I was like, Jesus, I hope you don't get them money. All right, come on. <laughs> so, please, please, no. Ah. All right, so I'm going to add my Nick is what I'm already thinking to myself, but I, I want to go to about 30. spin I got. If I said yeah. my goal is to be able to reverse the dog's direction, then yes, my strategy of doing what I was doing prior wasn't working the back and forth. I'm going to tell you what you're going to be able to get, a nice little spin. Get that bulldog. I always wanted a little bulldog like that. Movie star. He's absolutely perfect because I'll tell you what I wouldn't want. The fish love him. Uh, what I wouldn't want is one of those that was any bigger. He's only 35 pounds. I would not want a 60, 50. All right, look, look, look. And what I said on that new video, that's why I was just showing some of the video I made this weekend. No stimulus required. Uh, maybe that should be the title of my book. Or does that sound boring? No stimulus required. No, because you do anything. But on the puppy part, you don't. You know what I mean? If somebody says, you know, she hired dog actors to play the role of those puppies, oh, please! <laughs> I must be diabolical. Oh, no, I'll tell you, it's going to be perfect. You know, this little puppy. Ricky! You know, but by heightened reality, again, with puppies like this, I mean, you know, 
If I'm not able to have that high pitch and seem very interesting, I'll tell you what they, they hit. Nothing. Oh, now Birdie's scared of the fish. But you know they're going to run for that gate. So I actually had that up to 40. Uh, but you can see if her head is down, I can tighten that thing up. Birdie! Always want to, you know, even though I don't have the treat right away, I want to make sure she knows my expectation is um, you know what, it's, it's ominous because I thought I even have to make sure it knows it's like, what, you know, what you're looking at is purpose-driven behavior. If it, you know, and, and the purpose-driven behavior is the dog is making a beeline for the tree. So if I'm, I'm starting to, Molly, you're getting way too worked up. Look at her. We're going to have to get her in the house. Look at her. Yeah, Molly. Got herself way too worked up with that little dog. But, but that little Petey's at home on his little, uh, She's a sweetie, though. uh, his little couch or his little bed that looks like a couch. She's all fired up. She's all fired up, all right. Mm -hmm. But you see how that bulldog is. And I mean, if you were to say it's, which one of these dogs oh, was yes, yeah. dominant, mm -hmm. I would say this one by virtue of the fact that mm -hmm. refuses mm -hmm. to acknowledge that was this one. Or anything. <laughs> he tries to intimidate. The problem with those bulldogs is they do have a temper. Yeah. And if they break bad, well, it's, you know. He stands his posture. He does it to the fish, too. I notice. So Goes. I'm ready. Luckily, his collar. Luckily, she targets the collar. Uh oh, he's getting nailed down. Briggy! Good, 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 good. And I'm going to tell you how I know that she felt the neck because I, I could see her. I could see her. I could see her push her a little bit. And that's all you really want, you guys. I mean, again, this is where I would be gauging the neck. And I'm going to tell you why. Because if you did accidentally have it too hard, I'll tell you when you can fix it. When they're in this state of mind. I'm going to tell you why. Because two seconds later, you're going to go back and start chasing the shoe. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Anyway, so we made the most amazing brownies, and I want to I think we could do our brownies. I don't mind giving our brownie recipe away, uh, just not our cookie recipe. Yeah. But we could come up with like creative, uh, you know, we'd have to do like the time lapse of the butter and the chocolate melting, and then speed it up. Yeah, that'd look cool. Yeah, and then, you know, the measuring out the, you know, and instead of Bisquick, instead of Bisquick, which was what the original recipe called for, I think, we'll change it to Aunt Jemima. I'll tell you what that'll do. Make Aunt Jemima like us. And that's the most important thing in life. All right, come on. All right, well, so I'm saying to myself, pretty good. Okay, I'm telling you what I'm saying to myself right there is, is that dog feels that neck. I, I'm also, I don't remember, you need to remind me, Anne, how, um, you know, Jean was, whether she wasn't very sensitive, because, I mean, what that's saying to me is, you know, it's, it's being tampered down by those contact points, or the dog isn't very sensitive. Because that was the nick on funny. But I'm going to tell you what my job today is, again, is to get this dog coming to you. My job is not to shut this dog down so that this dog just stands there very zombie-like in the group, afraid to make a move. A huge part of what I'm trying to do is preserve the uninhibited behavior, because if I don't do that, I'm really not solving the problem. You know, and, and, and you could take a companion dog and put a collar on and shut him down about an hour a day. It's just the other 23 hours a day that you're going to have the problem. So you better incorporate the, uh, you know, the collar into the part... Um, when the dog is, you know, not, and Anna's just wincing everything she sees with that. Mm-hmm. Riggy! So I am adding my 
my neck. And I, I will tell you where that's going to come in later is, is you will be able to shut that down momentarily and you continue to do that enough. You know, that, and then you, you know, you're winning the battle of attrition. All right, guys, we got to go get uh, her put up because we have a new dog coming in. Oh, we don't want the first one, you know, that she meets to be the school bully. All right, guys. <laughs> Sorry.